In the tech industry, a new stage of covert competition is beginning, one that until recently was discussed only in whispers. According to several authoritative sources, including journalists from The Information, analysts from TrendForce, and insiders close to the company's engineering divisions, Apple is finally emerging from a prolonged period of technological stagnation and is preparing one of the most aggressive and large-scale responses to NVIDIA in its history. What seemed impossible just a few years ago, the idea that Apple would attempt to challenge the absolute monopolist in the world of AI chips, is now becoming reality. And if the leaks that have been circulating for a week in the closed chats of suppliers are accurate, Apple has indeed begun developing an entirely new lineup of its own AI processors, capable not only of reducing the company's critical dependence on NVIDIA, but also of restoring its status as a technological leader, a position Apple has been gradually losing in recent years. Paradoxical, but true, the company that for many years set the rhythm of the entire industry became one of those that slept through the beginning of the AI revolution, while Google, OpenAI, Microsoft, and most importantly NVIDIA were building the infrastructure of the new digital world, Apple continued to focus on design, device optimization, and the gradual evolution of its ecosystem, avoiding open declarations about its AI ambitions. But patience has run out exactly now, at the moment when NVIDIA is at the peak of its power, when its chips have effectively become the new oil of the 21st century, and demand is so enormous that the company must allocate supply years in advance, choosing who gets computing power and who gets refused. To understand the scale of the challenge, it is enough to look at a simple fact. Today's NVIDIA chips, H100, H200, and the upcoming Blackwell lineup, are the heart of the entire global AI infrastructure. They train the largest neural networks and operate in the data centers of Amazon, Google, Meta, Tesla, in research laboratories, and in government institutions. Why NVIDIA? Because their architecture, developed more than 10 years ago, turned out to be the ideal combination of parallel computing, high energy efficiency, and support for the most advanced software platforms such as CUDA, without which no serious AI project can function today. In the industry, they even joke that CUDA is the new operating system of artificial intelligence, and whoever controls it controls the future of machine learning. Simply put, NVIDIA built not just a chip, but a closed ecosystem where hardware, software, tools, drivers, and standards are so tightly integrated that it is almost impossible to escape this matrix. That is why companies from startups to giants like Amazon are essentially lining up for NVIDIA GPUs, understanding that there are simply no alternatives. And at this very moment, when NVIDIA has become an entire technological civilization, Apple decided to do what the most far-sighted analysts told it five years ago, to create its own specialized AI chips. But why did Apple need to take such a risky step at all? The reason is simple. The company began to lose the race. In the era of the iPhone X, Apple was considered the gold standard of innovation. But over the past two years, according to sources at the Financial Times, internal discussions within Cupertino have increasingly focused on the idea that the company has lost its flagship status as the industry's technological trendsetter. The AI industry is developing faster than traditional mobile devices, and now every manufacturer is trying to integrate neural networks into cameras, processors, operating systems, voice assistants, workflows, and enterprise services. But Apple, due to its closed architecture and cautious strategy, found itself in the position of a follower. They fell behind not just by a year or two, they fell out of the technological ideology that defines the future. Insiders claim that within the company, there is even a term, Moment Intel, an analogy to the period when Intel slept through an architectural transition and lost its dominance. Apple has infrastructure, money, and capabilities, but it does not have its own H100. And this, according to analysts at Bernstein, became the critical turning point after which the company's leadership decided to launch a new secret initiative internally known under the codename Project Q. According to the leaks, this project is the foundation of Apple's future independence from NVIDIA and the restoration of its technological superiority. According to Bloomberg, Apple has already created several prototypes of its own AI processors, 
each designed for processing large language models, computer vision systems, generative models, and on-device local AI. Some chips will be used in Apple's data centers to train its own models, while others will be integrated into future iPhone, iPad, and Mac devices, turning Apple hardware into autonomous computing stations with local neural networks. Sources familiar with the process claim that these chips differ from classic mobile Apple Silicon SoCs because they include a dedicated architectural subsystem entirely focused on AI operations. Essentially, Apple is creating its own version of a Mini H100 optimized for the closed iOS and macOS ecosystem. Journalists at Wired, citing supply chain sources, report that Apple is actively hiring engineers who previously worked at AMD, Google DeepMind, and even former NVIDIA employees specializing in GPU architecture. Moreover, according to analysts at DigiTimes, Apple has already held negotiations with TSMC about allocating dedicated production lines for future Apple AI chips, which indicates that the company is not planning to merely experiment, but to launch mass production. But the key question remains, why is Apple doing all this right now? The answer, according to experts from McKinsey and Gartner, lies in the fact that the world is changing rapidly. AI is becoming the foundation of everything, from smartphone cameras to autonomous vehicles, from medicine to the military industry, from education to business. And if Apple continues relying on solutions made by others, it risks becoming a beautiful but dependent brand, giving up its place to NVIDIA, Google, and Microsoft, which are rapidly shaping the new technological architecture of the planet. No one wants to be a hostage of someone else's ecosystem, especially Apple, a company that has always built everything internally. But can Apple really challenge NVIDIA? NVIDIA controls the world not only with hardware, but with habit. But if the world gets an alternative, even one, it could change everything. That is why CNBC insiders believe that Apple is preparing the biggest announcement of the past 10 years. The unveiling of a new AI platform and the first generation of its own data center AI processors. And if this happens, the beginning of a new technological war will become inevitable. Apple versus Nvidia, innovation versus monopoly, the AI revolution versus traditional GPU architecture. The world is on the verge of the biggest power shift since the arrival of the iPhone. And if Apple has truly awakened, the coming years may become the hottest in the history of Silicon Valley. Will Apple manage to defeat NVIDIA? No one knows. But the fact that Apple has finally decided to fight for its future is confirmed by dozens of leaks, contracts, and engineering reshuffles. And if even half of what insiders are talking about is true, 2026 may become the beginning of a new era, an era in which Apple will once again be not the one catching up, but the one setting the rules of the game. And it all starts right now.